What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the Brown Gen. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can participate in the Monad testnet. So let's get into it. Before we do, make sure you hit the like button, share the video, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube. If you want access to my paid services, they're linked down below. For the longest time, I've had so many people reach out to me asking me how they can farm Monad. A year ago, you were just sitting there in discords trying to earn roles and people obviously want to find a way to farm things. They're always so busy trying to find the latest opportunities, but sometimes they get way too ahead of themselves. That being said, we've seen how successful other test nets have been in rewarding their users. I think the Monad test net is going to be one that you definitely want to spend some time on. So make sure you follow them on Twitter and they have the link to the test net right here. I say follow them because if there's any updates, you want to make sure you get it straight from the horse's mouth. Now, Monad is not different in the sense that it's another L1 blockchain basically touting really fast speeds, really talking about very fast finality, very cheap gas fees. We have seen this same song and dance. I don't think Monad is going to be something dramatically different. That being said, they will have a token and I know you want to have some of it. So the first thing you want to do before you even get started is make sure you have your wallet set up. For test nets and anytime I'm farming something, I highly recommend using a burner wallet. That's what I've done. The reason for that is you're going to be using a ton of different applications. In some cases, very new applications. There could be exploits and such, and you don't want to risk your capital trying to farm an airdrop. So now that we got that underway, what you have to do is you want to add the Monad test nets. So you click this button. You basically, you know, if you want to sort of go into your wallet, or if you want to manually add it, you can click this button and get the information. I've already done all this. Make sure you do that. Pause the video until you're done that. And then we're going to go ahead. The next thing you want to do, and depending on when you log in, you want to use the faucet. The faucet will give you some Monad testnet tokens. Unfortunately, right now, it's temporarily paused due to everyone and their mother trying to farm Monad testnet. But You've got time, so don't fret. You can always come back to this, or you can ask some of your friends for some Monad testnet tokens. Now, couple things you wanna do, we'll get back to Fantasy Top later, because it's more complicated, but you want to do your first trade. Now, there are three different meme coins, Molendak, Moyaki, and Chog. You probably recognize these if you've looked at their NFTs on Monad or Monadverse, I believe. Don't make the same mistake I did, and enter your monad amount here. You're gonna, or don't enter like, for example, one monad because it's not gonna buy one DAC, it's gonna buy one monad. So you can put a fraction 0 0.001, hit the buy button and it will happen. Let's say for example, that you have accidentally bought too much of it and now you're short monad token. Well, what you can do is go to view on Uniswap. When you do that, it'll bring this up and you may have to click on settings and select testnet mode. By selecting testnet mode, you can now access your Monad testnet tokens, and then you can trade back. For example, if you bought too much DAC, you can trade that back and get Monad in replace of it. So that's just something you know to keep in mind. You can do that with any of the three tokens here. I have bought a fraction or a bit of each of these. I've paid you know, 0.01 Monad to buy DAC, to buy Yaki, and to buy Chog. Once you've done that, there is a sleuth of different apps. Obviously, some apps are going to be down. Like, for example, I was looking at NAD.fun. Uh, when I looked at it, I believe it was down for maintenance. There, there you go. But there are tons of other apps. And like I said in this video, I want to keep it short. So I'm not going to go through every single app but use the same sort of logic, right? When you're farming, you wanna do the most basic activities, very co not cost prohibitive because you don't have that many Monad testnet tokens. So we'll get into that. Now I will include some links to some extra faucets that people have been posting on Twitter. 
There are some downsides, of course, like for example, gas.zip. Um, because I created this wallet, it does not have 10 plus inbound gas.zip transactions, and it does not have this much ETH as of February 18th. So you may have to use one of your already existing wallets to claim it here and then send those tokens to your new burner wallet. I will link all the faucets down below. And by the way, I'm sure there are many more. So the first app we'll get to, the, probably the easiest, is mag mistaking. You connect your wallet. Now that you're in the Monad testnet, just go in here and stake some Monad testnet tokens for Gmon. I staked 0 0.3 and I got 0 0.3 Gmon. You hit the stake button. It's very easy. You can see here that I've already got the 0.3, but all you got to do is sort of hit that submit button and you're golden. That's pretty much all I think you have to do here. Uh, obviously, there will be other things that you can do, like obviously check the steps. I think people get way too complicated here. You don't have to sort of, you know, solve everything. You just want to try things out and then you can come back later and try other apps out as well. Don't feel like you have to do every single app in one day. The next is multiply. When you sort of click on Monad testnet for the first time after connecting your wallet, so you, know, you connect your wallet, you verify the message, you just sign some stuff. And honestly, I don't care because this is a you know burner wallet. Once you've done that, you can then select Monad testnet for the first time, which is you know when the first time you do it, it will pop something up like this, which is claim free tokens. So you can click the button below to receive 50 USDC. Then when you switch it to USDT, you get the same thing. What I've done is I've staked amounts of USDC and USDT. You can see here on the unstaking, um, where is this right here? Like it will show up later, but basically you can go in and stake some. So you know what, maybe for the purpose of right now, I'll show you that just so you believe me. We'll put 30 here, we'll hit confirm. And stake initiated. My tokens will be staked soon. You get what's called a T orb. Now you can see sort of your rewards, your holdings and such as well through this. Once again, you don't need to go crazy about this, but definitely check this out. The next is Ambient, which if you farm ZK Sync, you're probably very familiar with. It's a liquidity platform. My recommendation here is you go in here, you do some swaps. So I went in here and I swap 0.1 Monad for you know this small amount of USDC. If you click this button over here you can see i did this 43 minutes ago you can also go to pool and you can add uh, the tokens together into a liquidity pool if you'd like just keep in mind because your amount of monad tokens is somewhat low unless someone is blessing you with monad testnet tokens which there are people on twitter and in the discord who will be willing to help you with that be very frugal because you obviously have to make the monad testnet tokens you have worth something the next thing here is NAD name service. So this is just like any other like domain service, like ENS uh, for Ethereum. You type in, you know, a name. So I've already done the brown gent. So it's already registered, but you can put the brown gent YT. You hit this. It costs 0 0.02 monad for lifetime. And I can hit register and then it becomes the primary name. You can see up here because I already registered the domain name. That's what shows up here. And here's the confirmation screen that you see the moment you register. Obviously, because this is a test net, you will not be getting this on the mainnet. You will have to do this again. Another such example is uh, a prior, which all you have to do is connect your wallet and stake a certain amount. So I've already staked a certain amount. I'll just put 0 0.1 here just to show you guys. And you get APR mon. Now, this is a test net, so be prepared to have some bugs and some issues. Who cares? We're used to it. If you guys have seen the Metis test net walkthrough, you know how insane that was. Now, one of the bigger apps that I do recommend is what's called um, Curvins. So they do have this pump for gains game that I was playing earlier. What you want to do is click on the faucet. When you go to the faucet, you can go in here and I basically went in and claimed every single one of these because you get CVE, WBTC, and everything else. This is very important for you to do the tasks. So you click on the top right, you click this bell icon, and it shows you all the tasks that you have to do. So some tasks have a cooldown. 
For example, to withdraw, there was a 20 minute cooldown. I should be able to withdraw right now. I hit the withdraw button and I'm going to select um, down here 0.001 just to show you guys. Um, I've already done some of these transactions. They're very self-explanatory. Like I would make the video and show you guys, but literally it's just going to waste your time. Um, and once we've done that, great. We should see this get resolved. It, it will show up with a check mark eventually. Okay. So make sure you go in, make sure you do all these things. Now there is a big tournament happening for fantasy top with Monad. I'm going to make a video on this tomorrow, going into depth on how to use this, because I think this deserves its own video. Fantasy top was already around with blast. It uses like influencers and their cards, and you basically have to build a deck. So I'll show you guys how to do that in a separate video. Don't worry about this one. It's a little more convoluted than the rest. And then sort of the other things I sort of want to get into is finally going to layer three. If you haven't already and complete these monad quests. Once you do that, you get the check mark, you get the box, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you found this initial walkthrough very helpful. Like I said, there are so many different apps you can use. I didn't cover all of them. Feel free to play around. And that's why I recommend using a burner wallet because really, if you screw up big time and sort of you connect to some malicious website, you're not really losing anything, just your time. So with that being said, make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much again for watching. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.